Let, let me uh, switch gears for a moment, uh, Tom, uh, to back to banks. Um, there are something like, I, I forget the number, but 6,000 banks in the United States. Why do we need so many banks? And what's so special about the United States versus other Western economies that that is the way we structure our banking industry? Well, let me start with the second half of that question first. So uh, getting back to the federal approach of our government, up until the mid-1980s, it was illegal to buy a bank across state lines or to branch across state lines. And Congress, uh, I think, did the right thing. And they created the Interstate Banking Act. Uh, and they did it in two steps. Number one is they did regional compacts. So certain regions of the company could con a country could consolidate first. And then those regional con uh, compacts dissolve. And now, with uh, there have been a couple of bills that have been passed that national banks are able to branch anywhere in the country. So state barriers have come down. Um, so, so there was no interstate banking going into the mid 80s. The other thing, there were a couple of states that had further restrictions. The two that come to mind are Texas and Illinois. They were called unit banking states, which meant that you couldn't have a branch outside your county. So, so those states per capita had an enormous number of banks. So we've spent the last 30 years consolidating really for the first time in the banking industry. And, uh, and so that's why we started with, when I started my career, we had 18,000 banks. Today we're down to, like you said, it's, I think it's around 5,000 banks and it's gonna go lower. It's been, it's been consolidating anywhere from three to 5% a year. Now, you'd say, Tom, if that was a linear analysis, does that mean in 20 years we're going to have one bank? Uh, no, it doesn't. Um, we'll have more than one bank. But, uh, but so, th so, so the consolidations happen. Now you'd ask why. So if you look at profitability and you look at valuation in the stock market on a price to tangible book basis, what you'll find is bigger banks are rewarded with higher valuations scale appears to be working and scale works for efficiency and profitability and it also works for diversification of your assets so if your hometown gets into a recession you don't have a banking crisis because your bank may be over many towns and be able to absorb a downturn so there's an argument for diversification um, and so that's been a lot of the drivers to take costs out of the industry, create more stable, profitable banks. Uh, I think the industry has proven they can manage bigger banks. Um, the biggest banks that are over a trillion dollars are only four of them. You know, that, 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 that's getting a lot of focus about their size. But everything below that, I think managements have really, really proven that they can manage companies of these, this size safely. 